Elon Musk taking his battle for free speech right to the woke workers of Twitter. The world's richest man will be speaking to Twitter employees at a town hall this week. It's the first time since he agreed to a $44 billion buyout. It's no secret the liberals who work there have been trying to sabotage Musk and his plans to crack down on censorship. Twitter employees previously complained that Musk ruined <laughs> their calm focus week. <laughs> Very sad, I tell you, Greg. <laughs> Very sad for these Twitter employees. Elon Musk coming in, upping the price of the of the stock, and they're disappointed. Do you think they need a crying room? Yeah, you know, here's my prediction. The employees that are most angry will talk about the hypothetical harm they experience from words and ideas, right? That this is actually creating an unsafe environment. That's why they wanted to ban libs of TikTok, because he exposed, like, the... The kind of the madness, uh, the madness and extremes of gender trans activism and, and what teachers were actually telling the kids in schools. And that, for them, they think is unsafe and harmful because it actually, it actually kind of reveals some ideologies. Something is afoot, though. It's not just about Twitter. It's about what Musk is part of. And maybe he's inspiring other companies to do the same thing. But it seems like there are adults returning from vacation to, take, to, to tell the kids to go upstairs and eat their frickin' vegetables. Look at Netflix putting the foot, their foot down. Gannett newspapers removing their yes. opinions. WAPO firing that one uh, uh, bad-mouthing wokester. Uh, and, and all of this is kind of happening at the same time. And I do think that we are suddenly discovering that the toxic, toxic identity politics that has showed up and bubbled up an area didn't die in con on campus. It infiltrated the real world, and it's, just, and it's migrating. And I think now we're finally getting to the point where we're stopping it. We found our limits. You know, Dana, it, it, Greg makes a terrific point, and it's expected that employees may also ask Musk about his plans for workplace culture, the option to work from home. Uh, and oh, that's going to go over real well. <laughs> yeah. What that's going to go over real well. Well, a couple of things. First of all, I hope that Musk didn't schedule this on a day of rest for the Twitter employees, <laughs> which they often get. Um, that's also called Sunday. Mm -hmm. In most places, um, this is what I would recommend to all these employees: keep an open mind. He he has an open mind. Do you have an idea on how you want to improve Twitter? Now, if it includes censoring people, yeah, that's not going to fly. But you never know. Like Elon Musk might like your idea, or he might surprise you. He might turn out to be the best boss you ever had. So I would love to be a fly on the wall. Mm, the fly again. Yeah. A lot right. of flies on your wall. All right, Geraldo. <laughs> what say you? You know, uh, I, I think that the the big issues of freedom of speech and uh, you know what what is permissible uh, and that, the angle of, uh, of the Twitter takes and all that will be subordinate to the only issue on the minds of those people right now. I believe is whether or not Musk will go through with this deal. He's he's been uh, he's been uh, I almost used a. a bad word to describe. He's been, you know, uh, teasing them and teasing them and give me more on your bots, give me more on the, uh, but you know, the robots. But is he entitled to that information to determine whether or not th th they have as many followers as they say they do? He is totally, and, and that's why they're so nervous. I believe that they're, the real anxiety these people are feeling isn't that their free speech will be infringed. It is that he won't take over Twitter. Twitter will be wounded by the fact that he teased them and then they set them up and now the Twitter is not as valuable as it was before uh, Musk arrived and uh, gave it that juice. But I, I think that, that they're mostly concerned now with their jobs. As, as what mostly. about the possibility, Jesse, of Twitter misrepresenting itself? Mm -hmm. There's a high probability that's the case, and he's going to have to do his due diligence and figure out if they're being fallacious or not. But I don't know if Greg's heard this phrase before. It's a saying. Yeah. You never get a second chance to make a first impression. Mm. Ooh, and yeah. so you don't want to get off on the wrong that. foot with your boss, who happens to be a billionaire and a genius. So don't go out there and peacock around and show how woke you are to your colleagues. Maybe be humble. Take a deep breath. You might actually learn something, as Dana said, from Elon Musk. When I was given the seven, I called all the smartest, most successful people in the TV business. You didn't call me. <laughs> Nor I. Wow, I don't think I got a call. <laughs> <laughs> we're getting off on the wrong foot. <laughs> and I asked them, you know, what was your advice? What was your, I called people outside the business. Bob Casa, sports guy, is probably going to ruin his reputation that I'm announcing that I called him. And they all said the same thing. They said, listen, listening is the key. Yep. And if these new employees would just listen to this guy, he's actually pretty goddamn inspiring. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. So just listen to him and see how it goes. Okay. You're going to have right. to apologize. Great news. What did I say? <laughs> All right. Nothing. To who? Uh, I'm sorry God. for I don't know. Sorry, God. <laughs> okay, ahead. Could Johnny Depp sue Amber Heard again? The actress doubling down on the accusations that got her taken to court in the first place. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.